good morning Big Fam. So if you are watching this, this means that I have officially went into labour. So this will be my birth story, labour story and the day that baby girl is born. Hopefully, fingers crossed. So I'll just explain what's been happening so far. Excuse the mess. I've got no makeup on yet because it's early in the morning and I've just thrown my hair up while I wash my face. So it is currently the 2nd of September and it is 10 o'clock. I have a midwives appointment at quarter to 11 but just as I woke up this morning and was getting ready and stuff like that my waters have actually broken. It was a big goosh, went all over the floor, there was a puddle, I'll insert that clip now and show you guys. Oh baby fam, I don't know if you can tell, but my waters are just broke. <laughs> <laughs> like literally I'm on my way to the hospital, well to the doctors, to get a sweep and my waters have just broken. <laughs> <laughs> I've never ever had my waters break like that before, it was just a big goosh, it's everywhere. When did it happen? The back back on? Yeah, I was just leaving, just coming out the door to go to the doctor's. Yeah. And I was standing there. So we just go to the doctor's and see what. I got the doctor's because she'll check, and anyways, while I'm there, because she's gonna give us a sweep, and then we'll get going straight to the hospital. Right, okay. <laughs> oh my word! I can't believe it. I've never had me walk as break before. Well, apart from once with Dion, but that was 13 years ago. So that's what has happened so far this morning. I'm still going to go to my doctor's appointment. The reason being is just in case they haven't broken and today I was going to get a sweep. And that was just to help baby move along because I am 40 plus five days pregnant today. So I am overdue. Um, but I thought that I'll go there just in case the waters haven't broken and in the likelihood I've just weighed myself. <laughs> Um, and then they can still do that sweep even though tomorrow I've got a date to be to get an induced zone introduction which is where I have to go to hospital and they will introduce labour with like a tablet and step in basically and try and help the body go into labour naturally um, which I've had with my last three my last two children that's what I got done with Caleb and Logan so now I'm going to go to the hospital, I check with the midwives, the midwives will probably be able to tell us if they have broken and then see where we go from there. So I'm currently in the van on our way to the hospital, the midwives just said yeah it looks like your waters have broken, um, they called the hospital, the hospital are expecting me, they took my blood pressure, took baby, checked baby's heartbeat, she's doing absolutely fine, she's moving around and everything like that. Um, so I'll let you guys know what's going on when we're inside the hospital. So I've currently just had an examination and we can confirm that Stephanie's waters have broken. So yeah, how do you feel about it? I knew they did. Yeah, and we've also been given these masks as well. It's much yeah. easier to breathe through. So we're now currently having baby's heartbeat checked and movements as well, aren't we? Yeah, we are. How are um, you feeling? Just because we've got some water, we just want to make sure that baby's alright. Yeah. Um, yeah. So we're being sent home. Yeah. Come back 4.30 in the morning. So baby's doing fine, heartbeat and everything's fine. I was monitored for 20 minutes. Um, I'm doing fine. They said if there's a change in your waters, uh, like the colour, then give her a call back. If you're not feeling well, give her a call back. I've got to do this little test, which is check my temperature every four hours. Uh, if I have a high temperature, I've got to go back. But basically, they want my contractions to start on their own. And if they don't, we have to go back at half four in the morning, guys. Looking forward to that one. And I'm not a morning person. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, to get introduced. And we also got some um, hospital parking as well, so we just parked just here, which is like basically opposite the main entrance up there. So that was a bonus because I was starting to worry whether we're going to get a good parking spot 
although otherwise I would have had to have paid city centre parking charges which is pretty expensive and a good distance away from the hospital but Stephanie went into the maternity ward the the new suite I think downstairs was it a new suite that you went to Stephanie yeah the, the birthing centre and then um, they booked it in they got our registration stuff and got a nice little spot over here so really good anyways we're really hungry now because we've been in the hospital for about nearly three hours so we're gonna get going back home have some food and we'll catch you guys up in a moment so it's been a couple of hours since i last checked in with views um it's eight o'clock now um it's been four hours and i'm just chilling on the bed probably gonna get an early night try and get some sleep but i've got to do this temp dot so every four hours i've got to check my temperature and i just get this little thing get underneath my tongue i don't know if you can see there um it has like little dots and it tells you the temperature so this goes under my tongue um and anything over 37 she said give us a call and i'll probably have to go back in what we're gonna do is catch you up later because we're gonna get the children ready for bed take my makeup off get into some cozy pajamas we'll probably just get to sleep catch you guys back up by 4 a.m in the morning so we're back here again 4 30 in the morning and we're running a little bit late about 10 minutes late so it's actually 4 40 but we're gonna go in stephanie said some contractions last night um said about two or three but not enough to really get things moving so i suppose She's probably going to ask to be given some oxytocin um, and to get things moving a bit more quicker. But yeah, we're going to get going. We'll catch you guys up in a moment. So we're currently on Ward 32 and we're now getting checked again for contractions and heartbeat. So the blue ones for contractions. Right. Yeah, because yeah. before we didn't know what that one was for, did we? No, we didn't know what this one was for. I didn't know what it was for my heartbeat of babies. And then I've got me my little... Sexy lights on. Yeah. <laughs> Just so I don't get any blood clots, because obviously you don't move around as much when you have to So I've got that one. Um, You've had a couple of contractions already, haven't you? So. Yeah, so the pink number. Yeah. The pink one is the contraction and the top one's the heartbeat. Yeah, and then I think it's the bottom one. Yeah. The contractions. Yeah, the where the number twelve is. Yeah. On the bottom. Yeah. But you went right up to forty seven or something. Yeah. That's Stephanie contracting now. She went right up to eighty two before. Now it is. Yeah, you're right up to eighty two before. That's the contraction eased not. Fifty seven, six. 50. It goes right down to 5, it does. Does it? Yeah. Well, it's your strongest contraction yet. Is it? Yeah, last one was 44. So we are currently in our birthing room for now. We want to be moved downstairs, but that depends how my contractions are going to go. Um, so it's currently quarter past seven. Quarter past seven. On a Friday? Is it Friday today? It is, isn't it? It's Friday. The 3rd of September, I think. Yeah, it's Friday the 3rd of September. 3rd of September. Yeah. Um, so I'm currently on the, the birth and ball. I've been examined and everything. And I had some four waters left, so she had a break that. And now like I'm like bleeding a little with a little bit more water coming out. She said that I'm two centimetres dilated. I am getting contractions, so I didn't need to be introduced. I went into labour naturally. And this is our room for now. Like I said, depending on whether we can get these contractions, keep going and picking up. If not, then I'll need to be put on the drip. They've given us like a two hour waiting period for that. But yeah, this might be the room where baby is born. So a little tour of the room. I've got the TV there, no toilet though. <laughs> Sean's happy because he's got more of a cozier chair. This chair actually inclines into like a bed. Yeah. I was tempted to have a nap with Stephanie. No, Sean. 
You're not allowed to sleep. <laughs> well, I'm for the TV, I'm not. Sort of a little bit later on since Stephanie spoke to you guys um, she's just gotten changed into her birthing gown that she's going to be giving birth in and then we've just been nicely given some cups of teas as well and you're waiting to be introduced now on, onto the drip am I right or am I wrong? So it's quarter to nine quarter to nine yeah. Yeah. Um, contractions are still the same every 15 minutes not that strong so they're going to put it on the drip which basically releases a hormone to bring on contact yeah. and stronger. It's oxytocin. Oxytocin. Um, and, and then we'll see where we're yeah, all we'll by, where then. We'll by then. We'll should be halfway due and having baby. Maybe it's, depends how the uh, contractions start because you just don't know, do you? I know the last time you had um, Logan, it was really quick. Caleb was progressive and Dion was taking forever. Yeah. She took forever. But so yeah. Baby's just too comfortable, she doesn't look around. Yeah. Plans are to go all natural with no yeah, pain relief. Yeah, there's gas in there, that's the plan. But um, not holding with to it, are you? <laughs> that could change, but we need to have a... The way each other had gas yeah. there. Yeah. With Dion, I didn't... Um, I had a little bit more pain relief with Dion, and I didn't like the feeling of it. I was totally out, I couldn't remember any of the births. So yeah. I didn't want to have gas in there for. But Comment in the comment section, guessing the weight. Guess the weight, guys, and we'll let you know if you've got it right. Um, we're predicting she's going to be about over ten pounds and a half, maybe. Maybe ten, just over ten, I think. Yeah. And you were saying ten and a half. I'm thinking. I mean, I'm thinking you might be eleven. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but yeah, yeah she's going to be big. She's, we always have big babies, don't we? It's yeah. apart from Logan. Logan was like seven and a bit. But he was seven, ten, I think. Yeah. Still pretty big. Yeah, isn't it? Yeah. I mean you aren't too bad of a size, so I suppose that's why it happens. <laughs> right, we're going to have our cups of teas and we'll catch up with you guys in a moment. So it's a little bit later on and Stephanie has now been put on her drip, which is this thing here. And this is going to help her contractions get started a little bit more. Yeah, so it's currently 5 to 10. Yeah. And I got put on the drip for 10 minutes ago, did you say? Yeah. Half nine, actually half nine is even there. Yeah, half past nine, yeah. Um, the sleep has gone like all over <laughs> 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 Yeah. She's also um, been put back on the machine to monitor baby's heartbeat and contractions. So when you drip, you have to have this kept on. Um, but yeah, we'll let you know how we get on. So currently half 11. Um, contractions are about 2-3 minutes apart now. So definitely picking up. They've increased the dosage to maximum, haven't they, of the oxytocin? Yeah. You had 3.3 mil of you? Yeah. Mm. How many's in the whole tube? 49 mil. Oh well. <laughs> you barely touched the surface. <laughs> yeah. I think with Caleb I didn't think I had the full mil. No. They'll have to stop it at one point, won't they? Yeah. Yeah. But you've said some really powerful contractions there, haven't you? Yeah, well, yeah, well, it's like 50. I can't like stand there at that moment. <laughs> won't be long now. Yeah, I'm saying 1 o'clock. Yeah, that's the time here, guys. I'm still at 1 o'clock. What do you guys say? Excellent. <laughs>
She's there, I've seen the top of her head before, Steffi. She's right there, she is. She's just sitting there. Penguin? That's it, Stephanie. Good. I know it's stingy and burny. Okay, you just keep, keep pushing into it. Just nice, gentle little pushes. You still got pain? Uh, uh, little one, give us another little push then. <coughs> well done. That's it, that's lovely. Go on. Keep going, keep going, keep going. I lose my breath whenever I see you. You stole my heart, what is it that you do? My life was great till you added color. I want you 